All right, guys. So let's discuss conditionals today. It is something that some people may find a little bit more difficult, but I will try to make it easy. Conditionals are in Czech. We call them podmínkové and in English language, they are they can be a little bit harder to understand. Let me show you how it works. At first, you can find it on page 76, and it is uh, the chapter 7b. I have decided, instead of just studying second conditional, I think it is much better to have a look at the other kinds of conditional that I think that you already know. Let's see how, the, how they differ. What is the difference between these three conditionals? I think that the zero conditional and the first conditional you should already know. Let's have a look at how it works. The zero conditional is used when uh, I'm talking about a law or a fact. So something that if A happens, B always happens too. Alright? So if, uh, let's say, if uh, you put your hand into fire, this is A, right? You put your hand into fire, this is A. And if A happens, there's something that always happens too, because what happens with the fire in your hand, the fire burns your hand, okay? So if you put your hand into fire, your hand burns, all right? Not a good thing for sure. But what are we saying with this? We are saying that there is a law or a fact that if you do A, B always happens. There is not a situation where you just put your hand into fire and it doesn't burn. Maybe if you have some gloves, some kind of protection, you'll be okay, alright? But we are talking in general, this is in general, alright? General. Mluvíme obecně a říkáme, že existuje pravidlo, existuje jakýsi zákon, něco, co se vždycky stane. Pokud bude A, tak nastane B. Vždycky. Okay? Always. Now, let's have a look at your tenses here. The first one is present simple, the second present simple. Pretty easy, no? If A, then we have present simple, and B, present, simple. Alright? Gentlemen, here I believe there is no problem. So remember, it's about law, about a general rule or fact that if A happens, B always happens too. Alright? Now, let's go to the first conditional. In the first conditional, I'm talking about the possibility. Possibility. Uh, let's say for the future, for the future, and also I can uh, threaten. Threaten. Threaten is not Now I can threaten someone with this because if I say if A, then B will happen. So I'm talking about the situation now. Situation now and consequence. So, what is important about this? We have a situation right now, and I'm saying if A happens, B will happen as a result. So, I'm not giving you the general rule, I am just saying, okay, if you do A right now, B will happen. So actually, if I have fire right here, we can go to A and I can say it in general, and I say, okay, if you put your hand into fire, it burns every time, right? But what if I'm talking about the fire here, then I say, okay, if you put your hand into the fire, right here, your hand will burn. So there is action and the consequence, nyaki bisledek, consequence. So if A happens, B will happen. So, if you put your hand, alright, 
into the fire. Have a look at uh, the article here. The fire must be some fire here. I'm not talking about fire in general. There will be no article. So I'm just talking about the fire here. If you do it here right now, your hand will burn. So we use will, all right? It is for be. B is the action that will be the consequence of your first action. So A, if A happens, A would be putting your hand into fire. If you do that, something will happen to your hand right now. So it is the situation now, there is the consequence, that will be the B, your hand will burn. It is a possibility, I'm saying, hey look, there is fire here. And if you put your hand into the fire, your hand will burn. And th you can threaten. So you can say, if you don't stop talking, I will put your hand into the fire. <laughs> for example. Alright? So you say, if A happens, B will happen for sure. But A is a possibility. It can happen. Alright? A can happen. Alright? And I know that if A happens, B will happen as a result. Now, let's have a look at the second conditional. The second conditional can be a little bit similar to, to the first one. Because I'm also talking about if A, then B happens. All right? But the only difference here is that this is impossible. Impossible. Impossible suggestion or it can be your dream I am dreaming okay it can be imaginary all right so there is some situation right now and I want to change my situation and I say if <laughs> okay let's say um, I have my hand in the fire right now, okay? There's fire here, my hand is in the fire. Not good, for sure. I'm looking at my hand and I'm saying, if I didn't have my hand in the fire, I wouldn't get burned, right? But it's too late, right? I've already done it. I'm looking at this, it's right here, and I'm saying, if I didn't put my hand into the fire, my hand wouldn't burn. Too bad, right? So, uh, it's happening right now, and I'm saying, or let me give you maybe a better example. Let's just go out, this is maybe a little bit negative, let's just use, uh, if I had wings, I'd fly, okay? Now, wings, maybe like chicken wings from KFC, wings, tigla, alright? So, the big no, tigla, let a big so let's have a look here. If I have wings, this is A, and I would fly, this would be B. So what I would write now? If A happened, so here, past, simple. Pokud by nastala Ačko, tak by nastalo Bčko. Then B would happen. Alright, so I'm saying, if A happened, then B would happen. But look, is it a possibility? Can I have wings? I can't. So if it's, if, I, if it's something I can't have, or it's something that is impossible, then I'm talking about a dream. Right? Or something that is imaginary. I can never have wings. Same idea can be, if I was a woman, I would have children, for example. Right? These kind of things. So, you're saying that if A happened, B would happen as a result. But A can't happen, right? It is very unlikely that B will happen to you, right? So let's have a look here. Let's summarize. The first conditional if A happens, B always happens. I'm talking in general. If I look at the first conditional, then if A happens, B will be the result, will be the consequence. I am talking about situation right now, and it, this thing can happen. A can happen. I can 
put my hand into the fire, right? It is a possibility. I don't want to do that, but if I do it, I will burn my hand. And the second conditional, I'm talking about a dream or something that is impossible. So, if I had wings, I would fly. If I was a woman, I would uh, bear children, right? These kind of things. So, this is a situation I can't change. I'm dreaming right here. And one last thing, speaking of uh, the form, if we look at the form here of the verb be, all right, there's a little difference in uh, British English because if you say, um, let me erase this, if I say if I was, all right, if you follow the, the common past simple, I was, you were, he, she, it was. We were, you were, they were. Then this is American English. All right, this is American. In British English, they always use were. If I were, if you were, if he, she, it were, if we were, if you were, if uh, they were. So if I were, if he, she, it were, then it is British English. Remember this, guys. Usually you will hear if I was. It is in movies, it is in music and so on. So American English is more common, right? Both will be fine. If you write me the test, if you tell me okay if I were, or if you tell me if I was, I'll be okay with both, right? Gentlemen, you should just remember this. Alright, if you have any questions, I think we have summarized very well already. So if you have any questions, Feel free to ask them during our online lesson and I'm ready to check your exercises from workbook and from your students. Thank you very much for your attention.